<laughs> Just where do you think you're going? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, 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 he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, how's my boy? He's good. Watch out, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Watch out, I'm coming in for a big smoochie. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Good boy. That's a good papa. Come on, let's go. Hello. Ha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Haven't done a fan inch over a hot minute, today. Eh? So much stuff. So much stuff. So much stuff. So much stuff. We didn't really do spring cleaning like I would have done in springtime, usually. And so there's a lot to do. There's there's lots of things coming up, lots of things happening. It's a very busy summer, a very busy life moving forward, which is great. And I've got lots of little things to talk about, lots of little things to share with you guys that are coming up in the very near future. The timing is not right to share all of them here today, but I did get this rack thing. This was my quarantine rack that I had set up in the closet in my office slash guest room upstairs. So now it kind of looks more like a closet instead of like a bunch of stuff shoved in like I'm in middle school. Those guys are enjoying little morning family movie time looks like. I've been to Bible study already this morning and my prayer is that my neck and shoulder and back will survive the day because I'm very sore back there. Everything's kind of hurting. <sighs> so I'm just praying for a little bit of relief. There's so much stuff to talk to you guys about today. I don't even know where to start, honestly. Let's do an update on Maya, our coral glow ball python, who I let keep the eggs. Let's take a look at her. So as you can see, she's hanging out with her babies. They're getting a little more forward. They're getting moving around a little bit. She's Oh, she's done a poop. That's why they've moved to the side. She's been eating with the babies in there. And in the future, near future, I'll make a video where I show my process for feeding the babies while they are still with her. Now, none of these babies that are with her right now have eaten yet, but one of them has. So what I do is I'll feed her and she'll start eating. And then while she's busy eating her own rat, I'll start offering to these guys. And these babies have all started striking at the food, but more defensive strikes and not actually eating. There was one, however, I will clean that up in a moment. This is the first baby of hers to eat. And it's teaching me a lesson, a new lesson in patience, uh, learning to breed animals and learning to work with snakes in particular who are slow metabolism creatures and just do things a lot slower than us mammals. Uh, it's been a process of learning patience throughout these last years and even more patience, realizing that you don't need to get them feeding the first week that they shed out. Um, it's just not something you need to do for them to be healthy or survive. And staying with mom, they actually look, to me, healthier somehow. Uh, which I guess makes sense, but this is the first baby that took a meal. A little Coral Glow 100% Het Pied, looking real nice. And that's my plan for the process going forward with babies that have been hatched with mom, is to let them stay with her until they take their first meal, and as they are eating their first meal, like when they grab it and wrap it, kind of take them out, put them in their own little enclosure where they can finish eating, and that's the process is going to be, and I might do that again because this massive girl right here is going to be having a lit clutch of double het clown hypos before too long, and I'm thinking about leaving the eggs with her as well. Just based on the success that we had with Maya there, I want to try to leave as many eggs with moms as possible and just kind of experiment and see what happens, see if it goes well, see what happens and just kind of play with it. Cause I really like leaving the babies with mom. It's really cool to see and good experience for mom to have her babies with her and have them hatch, give her her own fulfillment of the life that a snake lives, you know, the fulfillment of that whole process of nature. So what else do I have going today? Lots. I'm gonna pull my drum set out because we've had a request to return Music Monday which I'm going to oblige, and I'm gonna go record drums out on the deck. Hopefully my neighbor is cool with that, because it means it's gonna be loud out here. It hurts to hold the camera up too high. It's gonna hold it down here low. It's not a very flattering angle, but it's just what's gotta happen. Hilo! Nice little good boy. So, I think before I record drums, no, I'll, I'll just get him out there right now. Ah, it's 
stuff is heavy. One of these days, I hope to have a setup where I don't have to move my drums just to record a song, because that would make the process much better. <sighs> I'm hoping all this physical activity is going to make the pain in my neck and shoulders go away. <laughs> Man, so that's the that's the easy part. Now I gotta get them all mic'd up. The Circles Reptiles podcast, which just came out a couple days ago, finally. Uh, we were at Garrett's brother-in-law's, Julian, and he has a whole studio set up with the drums all ready to go. You just basically sit down, hit record, and go. That's sounding real good right now. <laughs> Set mostly, just got to get the computer out here, and it would be a great time to start recording, except for the fact that it's a little bit early for all the other neighbors. It would be a good time because our, our new neighbor just left, pulled away in his car, so we wouldn't be bothering him or having him find out that we make really loud noises sometimes. But it's just a little too early for everybody else, I think. So it's supposed to be hot today too. So um, I don't know. It's all it's all basically ready to go though. He's getting ready for the heat. You're not supposed to be that hot today, right? Not supposed to be that hot today? 96 today. 96. It's only 68 now. It's great, but it's, yeah, 96. So it'll be 97 tomorrow. Mm. It's not cold. It's preparing us for Palm Springs. Oh yeah, we're going to Palm Springs soon. When we're there, it's like a high of 107, a low of like 86. <laughs> Stay hydrated, that's the key. I'll let it slide this one part. Oh, you fool! <laughs> We took a little break. We're going on a mission. I got distracted there, so I started editing a couple of different uh, channels and Freedom Breeder, Whiskey Wimps. Now we're on this mission to find magic beans. And we're on the Bob Jones Trail down in uh, San Luis Obispo County. It's a lot cooler down here. And, and Hilo, 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 hold your biscuits, dude. So by about the time we get back up to the house to record the drums, it should be about... <laughs> pretty hot so get a nice work out there sweat it out hopefully loosen up the muscles but this is fun oh scary huh but <laughs> right oh secret garden it's a garden is it secret not really <laughs>
This place is awesome. It's nice and cool. And uh, can't wait to get back in the heat and play those drums. What do you know? I know that there's a yellow jacket right behind you and they have a very powerful sting that is very painful and they can bite which is very painful and they are bugs and they can fly and they look creepy and that's all I know. And there's one behind, and there's one right there. Ooh, did you get it on camera? I cannot believe that it's playing. No! No! What? All right, it's actually 99 degrees out here, so the rule for Music Monday is as follows. What we've been doing previously is one take on everything. I learned this song yesterday, so one take. If it's rough, if I mess up, we just leave it in because otherwise we'll be here forever doing a million takes. One take, and then that's what we do for Music Monday. That's what's going to be coming out in two days. Is whatever I play right now. You got all, you got all funky on you there, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. if it does that again ever, you just like take it and the, the gimbal motor got too hot or something out here. It couldn't handle whatever was happening. So right. it, I improvise. It is what it is. Hillary did a great job improvising with a broken piece of equipment. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so That's well, what I didn't want one take, <laughs> one take. <laughs> Hillary thinks that it's too high, but it's really high. No, she didn't say it was too high. She said it's really high. The singing, and it is it is a bit high. It's an old Whalers tune. Uh, you know, Bob Marley and the Whalers is a Bunny Whaler song, actually. And I can't give you a sneak peek because Music Monday is not till a couple days from now, and I don't have it. I guess I grab the acoustic. No, you know, just wait for Music Monday. You'll see. You'll see the song. The fun thing about playing out here in the heat, most of you might know. A lot of you might know. I played drums in a reggae and blues band for about a decade of my life and it's a nice little flashback to to that the recording studio the recording sessions and we never really recorded outside on a deck but i like it and believe it or not none of that really helped loosen up my neck shoulder space well maybe you know, oh maybe it loosens it a little bit but it, it doesn't there's still pain <laughs> it didn't completely relieve the pain i guess i shouldn't be too big of a surprise but yeah what do you say we uh we cool off Electronics dangerously close to the water. <laughs> oh, okay, cool enough. We got some beautiful family friends who are out of town and they let us use their pool while they're out. I think this is going to be the spot where we film the music video portion. Oh, look, Turkey Vulture. Music Monday, I think we're going to film it here. But there's a lot of stuff that I was going to share with you guys, and I, well, a lot of stuff I, that I have to share, but I'm just not quite ready to share it. There's so much stuff. So much, so much stuff to share that it's not, it's not ready. It's got to incubate a little longer and, and, and stuff like that before I'm ready to share. So we do have some stuff right here to share. If you guys watched the video, Noah and I were camping in the morning uh, earlier this week and we decided the one thing that we needed was a table. Hey Noah, you want to come show, you want to come share this stuff we got? I'm going to do it right here, bud. It's good light. Look at how beautiful it is over here. I want to do it in the sun. I want to. I want to, want to. I haven't even, no, I haven't, we just got it. We just got it, just showed up. We haven't, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. It's pretty self-explanatory, just take it and shake it. And it'll all get, take it and shake it. Probably gonna work like this. That seems super self-explanatory. Bam, that goes in there. Bam, that goes in there. No, where's the chair? Same brand as my chair. Look at that table, look at that. That's set up in a flash. And then we can play chess. We can have our a spot for our drinks when we're camping, and 
got little cup holders. Look at that thing. Is that set up super fast too? Dude, are you stoked? Uh huh. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Awesome. Well, before we get out of here, I know some of you guys were bummed that there wasn't a Bible verse at the end of uh, last video that like we've been doing. We've been sharing a verse at the end of our video. So Hillary's gonna deliver for us today. With Thanksgiving, can I start over? <laughs> yeah, good. Good. Okay. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thanks. That's um, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. You guys have yourselves a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh, we hope to see you in a couple days for the Music Monday video. Aloha.